what we're going to be looking at is after effects using a um, trap code uh, particular and uh, without wasting any time let's try to preview what we're going to be looking at um, it's inside here and uh, if I try to uh, give some more space to see what we're going to do it's this that's one so having said that let's just go straight back to uh, After Effects, create a new composition, make sure it's a uh, I've set it to that and it's a square pixel I'm going to leave it to 7 seconds and let me name this a uh, part right okay create a new solid make sure it's black okay and uh, I'm gonna name this BG make it comp size and duplicate it I'm going to name this uh, particles particles and create a new adjustment layer name it uh, color effects what this is going to do is going to hold our effects that we're going to apply to our particles and I'm going to create a new light make sure it's a point light and I'm gonna name this emitter. Emitter. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna create a camera uh, and make sure it's a uh, 35 mm. And okay, so go to my particles and uh, roll, scroll down to our uh, trap code and then particular. Open up my emitters. My emitter, and I'm going to toggle through up to 200, like up to 221. If I'm tr I try to move this, we can see that this is okay, right? I can increase a little bit. Uh, you can see this is okay. This re would really work so well. This would really work so well. So, <coughs> having got that done, uh, I need to first uh, go ahead and set the velocity to zero. And uh, uh, oh, I need to set this to a point light because uh, my my emitter type to a light. And go ahead, set the velocity to zero, zero. And um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and uh, go back and create a new composition. This time I'm gonna name this a uh, part fifty. And why I'm uh, the reason is why I'm naming it 50 because I want it to be ha to have a width of 15 and a height of 50, and I'm gonna leave it to 30 30 frames per second, and I want it to only have to only run for one second, and I'm gonna hit OK, bring it up, then create a new new solid, make sure it's white, and um, I'm gonna grab my paint tool and try to draw right something like that and uh, all I'm going to do is select it and drag it like close to the center uh, it's not really actually late so it's if I can grab my tool and try to re-customize it so that it could look a little bit pleasant Right, so I can. Uh, I need those uh, rough edges. They're very, very important to us. So I go ahead and duplicate these two times. Move one to the left. Go ahead and uh, double click on it. And. Uh, bring it down here select the second one or the third one drag it to the other far side double click it oh sorry select it double click it and Uh, 
I just need to give it a little spacing more here and uh, I'm just going to go ahead create another solid and OK and then uh, make just a little drawing with the ellipse tool circle and not to waste time I'm just going to use this duplicate it two times drive one across the screen to the top and then grab another one and drive it down to the, s to the bottom so all I need to do is to select these down layers hold T on the keyboard give them an uh, opacity of 10 and then select the top layers hold shift on the keyboard and uh, hold a T again and then select 25 for the opacity right so uh, I, need, I think I need to increase this a little bit to uh, maybe a 30 and I think that's okay oh let me take it to 50 um, taking this to 50 50 so having done got that done we need to go back to our layers drop in the particles the part layer and I'm, I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to reflect to my screen and uh, to whatever I'm doing so before I go ahead to do anything I need to give my meter some uh, movement so